Well, what's up everybody, hope you're all doing great. Uh, in the next few minutes, I'll do a quick price prediction on Kofel against USDT, which is short for circuits of, um, of value. So this was just listed on Coinbase. It was listed on Coinbase Pro yesterday. Um, so yeah, first of all, I do want to say that this is not finan financial advice in any type of way. And it's also, um, I mean, you should always do your own research, first of all. And it's also very difficult to predict these uh, recent listings where there's not a lot of information on it. Um, I, I did try to do some research on Coval. Um, it's, it's a service where you can basically send, um, well, first of all, they have NFTs. They're busy with NFTs. And second of all, they also allow you to uh, transfer multiple tokens at once. So for example, if you were, um, if you wanted to transfer right now, you wanted to transfer some Matic, you wanted to transfer some Ethereum and Bitcoin, you'd have to do it separately. Uh, with circuits of value, you, you would be able to do that all at once. Um, also together with NFTs. So all of the, um, all of the blockchain applications you could send at once. So in my opinion, I mean, if you're looking at that, it's, it has potential, definitely more than 100 million, 100 million market cap, but still, uh, please do your own research as well. Look at their website, look at their uh, Telegram, Discord, uh, Reddit, Twitter. That's also very important. So let's get right into the technical analysis. As you can see right here, it's looking very bullish. Took a, a hit off of this 382 FIP of the, the recent move. Uh, in my opinion, it's going to go even higher. Um, but how high really depends. I mean, it's, it's approaching this 11 cents resistance area. Uh, so that area, in my opinion, is very important. We might, from here, we might see something like this. So that it was kind of a fake bullish move and that we drop all the way down, probably even to nine cents. Uh, and from there, we have the opportunity to go up, but it really depends on uh, how big the touch off of this, uh, off of this level is. I mean, it should at least be something like this. this. If, if it isn't, um, you know, Koval might even drop down more. So um, something else that can happen is that when it reaches this level, which as you can also see is quite an important level, um, it might do something like this so that it goes a little bit higher. It would need to, in my opinion, at least go to 11.3, 11.4, and then it takes a break retest. And if that happens, I actually think we can see move up until uh, something like 12 cents. And from that 12 cents, we might uh, consolidate a little bit. We might drop down a little bit more, but in my opinion, overall, that would be more bullish. So uh, from that 12 cents, we would maybe drop down to something like uh, 10 cents again, but still at, at long term and like from now up until a month i'd be more bullish on it i'd actually expect it to maybe even uh, get some nice moves maybe up until i mean my next price target would be around 14.72 uh, cents but with a lot of bullish uh, momentum it will probably reach 15 cents because you tend to see that uh, prices when when new autumn highs are reached um yeah i i would count that as all-time high i mean there's also this move right there uh, i don't really count that i'm sorry so oh, wait the price that was at 94 cents sorry i don't really count that but what you tend to see that psychological resistance levels it, it ten tends to stop and now there's also fibonacci there so that would be my my price target from now to like within two to three weeks if this happens if the other thing happens to be honest i, I wouldn't be so bullish bullish on Kofel. um so yeah that's basically my analysis on Kofel. if you have any questions about it please let me know down in the comments and i'll make sure to respond to that as soon as possible um and yeah as for now thank you all for watching and listening and hope to see you all in my next videos bye